The Mercenary Tower got released and it might actually be the best tower in the game. This video will be going through the levels, cost efficiency and overall tips on getting the best out of this tower. Let's get around to it. Before that, consider subscribing, 14 more subscribers and I'll beat Polluted Wastelands 2 with only these spawner towers. So starting at level 0, it can only spawn riflemen. They have a fire rate of 0.58 seconds, range of 18 and damage of 3 with 35 health and a spawn rate of 37.5 seconds. This gives a DPS of 6.55, all at a cost of 1200. Note that they do spawn from the base itself and not from the back, like most of their spawners. Overall, a pretty good starter level. Next on level 1, it unlocks a new spawn queue, which means it spawns 2 riflemen instead of 1, as well as the tower itself gaining 2 range, which increases its spawn range, all at a cost of 1000, which is a definite go-to upgrade. Following that on level 2, it unlocks a new spawn, Grenadier. It starts with a fire rate of 2, range of 17, and explosion damage of 25, as well as an HP of 45 and spawn rate of 42.5 seconds. This results in a DPS of 12.45, or at a cost of 2200, which is some solid performance considering its crowd control damage can easily double the DPS to 25. Next on level 3, both spawns will get upgraded. Starting with Rifleman, its range gets increased to 23, as well as the damage going from 3 to 7, health doubling to 70, as well as the spawn rate going down to 32.5 seconds. This gives it a DPS of 17.16, as well as it gaining hidden detection, which is a nice bonus. This upgrade comes in at a cost of 7000. As for Grenadier, its fire rate gets increased to 1.75 seconds, range increases from 17 to 19, and its damage doubling from 25 to 50. Not only that, its health jumps from 45 to 120, as well as the spawn rate lowering to 37.5 seconds. This results in a DPS of 28.44. The tower itself also gets its range increased from 8 to 10, but most importantly, Ada Like the Commander now gives a 10% damage boost to towers within its range, which is actually pretty insane. This comes at a cost of 7000, which, although pricey, is definitely worth it. Next on level 4, it gains a new spawn, Field Medic as well as it gaining its third spawn queue. It has a fire rate of 0.2, a massive range of 25, and heals 4 HP per tick. It also has 135 HP and a spawn rate of 37.5 seconds. This results in a heal per second of 19.23 at a somewhat at a, at, a, at a somewhat pricey cost of 10,000. Note that Medic can only heal up to 3 targets at once though. Overall field medics are great as they do stop moving if the spawns in front of them also stop. Following that on level 5, it gains a new spawn, Riot Guard. It has a fire rate of 1.5 seconds, small range of only 4, and a damage of 20. It also has 1000 health and a 60 second spawn rate, as well as 10% defense. It even has a stun ability where, if it walks long enough, it goes into a charge ability and stuns enemies for 1.5 seconds. This all results in a DPS of 13.26 at a cost of 17,500. Although pricey, they combined with field medics can clear the mid to late game waves really well. Not only that, it unlocks its signature ability, airdrop. With a 40 second cooldown, you can cool down a squadron of mercenaries to parachute down on a spot at a somewhat pricey cost of 2500. Although a bit pricey, a definite good ability for the end game waves. Finally on the max level, it gets some big changes. Starting with Rifleman, the range gets increased from 23 to an insane 30. Damage increased to 10 as well as the health increasing from 70 to 195 and spawn rate lowering to 27.5 seconds. This results in a DPS of 29.71 at a cost of 32,500. This might seem bad, and after seeing the next levels you'll probably agree even more. Hamburger. Next with Grenadier, the fire rate increases to 1.5 seconds, the range gets increased to 21, as well as the explosion damage increasing from 50 to 85. The health also increases from 120 to 260, as well as the spawn rate decreasing to 32.5 seconds, as well as getting 10% defense. This results in a DPS of 67.57, which is overall pretty good. Following that with Field Medic, its heals double from 4 to 8, as well as the health increasing from 135 to 175, and of course the spawn rate decreasing to 32.5 seconds. Its max targeted can heal at once also increases from 3 to 4. This leads to a heal per second of 29.76. The most noticeable upgrade though is definitely Riot Guard. Its fire rate increases from 1.5 to 1 second and damage gets increased from 20 to 30. More importantly, it also gets these upgrades. The health increases from 1000 to 2250, 
spawn rate reduces to 50 seconds, defense increases from 10 to 15%, as well as the stun doubling from 1.5 to 3 seconds. Alongside all this, its damage buff also increases from 10 to 20%, making it almost as good as a commander without the call to arms buff, which is actually pretty crazy. This tower is crazy strong, but before we go into depth on the tower, which spawn should you be using out of the four? Well, putting the DPS side by side, we can clearly see Rifleman is not worth using. Sure, it does have hidden detection and a fast spawn rate, but if you have a good enough hidden detection, I'd recommend switching to Grenadier on the level 2 upgrade instantly. Between the remaining three, they all have their strengths. Overall, you can't go wrong with a balance of these three, depending on if you need more crowd control, have a lot of spawns you want to heal, or need something to tank damage. As for upgrade cost efficiency, it's hard to get accurate results, but these are assuming they have all their spawns on the map shooting. Note level 3 and 5 increase the fire rate boost, and level 4 unlocks the airdrop ability. As we can see, level 3 is overall the best upgrade if you want pure firepower. However, to be honest, the upgrades are very balanced out, so it's hard to go wrong either way. Level 4 to 5 I'd only recommend getting if you plan on using field medics or riot guards, otherwise get free level 3 mercenary bases first. As for placement, make sure it's placed somewhere where it'll be able to buff as many towers as possible while still being in range of the path. Otherwise it won't be able to spawn anything, which is... not good. Now the placement limit is 3 for solo, 2 for duo, and only 1 for trios and squad. Now although it does come at a hefty price of 71,400 to max it, it has two massive advantages. Its most obvious one is its 20% damage buff. This buff alone can turn the DPS of 8 accelerators from 2278 to 2571, which is 292 more, aka a free accelerator. Of course this buff is most effective on towers like Ranger, Golden Minigunner and Pursuit which fully benefit from the buff unlike Accelerator and Engineer which due to their reloads and sentry spawns make it less effective for them. Now the other massive advantage is the Field Medic. Field Medic can heal up to 4 targets at once which is 153.84 heals per second and in a sense 153.84 DPS. When using many spawner towers like Elf Camp, Military Base and Necromancer, this is your go-to spawn to use as they can keep your spawns up and going for as long as possible and thus making them deal more damage overall. So basically, the more spawns on the map, the more useful Field Medic will be. As for tips, one tip for this tower is during boss waves, switch the spawns to only Riot Guards as they can fully tank the boss stun damage from every single boss except Void Reaver, which is a massive advantage. Another tip is to use DJ with Mercenary Base as it increases the range of Mercenary Base's damage buff, making it buff more towers. Overall, at least one of the top 3 towers in the game right now. Maybe check this video out, I don't know.